where we can create some factories. Now, I think it would be cool for them to be Trump factories because he's a master of industry. He's a builder. And I think it would be cool to have Yeezy ideation centers, which would be a mix of education that empowers people and gives them modern information. Like, sometimes people say, this kid has ADD, this kid has ADD. He don't have ADD, school is boring. It was boring, it's not as exciting as this. We have to make it more exciting, we have to mix curriculums. You play basketball while you're doing math. You, you, you learn about music while you meditate in the morning. We have to instate mental health and art programs uh, back, into the, uh, back into the city. So those are, uh, and also, Larry Hoover is an example of a man that was turning his life around. And as soon as he tried to turn his life around, they hit him with six life sentences. So I believe he's, with, you say don't tear down the statues? Larry Hoover is a living statue. He's a beacon for us that needs to see his family, that needs to go out and represent. When you have a block leader on every single block, they can own the block as their own. That's something I learned from Jim Brown, from a mayor I can. We need to put curriculums from people who really came from the streets, not people who are just trying to set us up to go into a work system or prison system that applies to what people are really going through, which Jim Brown has created. The thing is, let's stop worrying about the future. All we really have is today. We just have today, over and over and over again, the eternal return, the hero's journey. And Trump is on his hero's journey right now. And he might not have expected to have a crazy like Kanye West run up and uh, support, but best believe we are gonna make America great. Now the thing is, my, another thing is black people have an issue with the word again. And I believe my feeling from that is because I'm going to throw, I'm going to go all the way, Sigmund, with it, because time is a myth. All we have is now, all we have is today. So the word again, it doesn't hurt us because of the idea of racism and slavery and different things. It, it, it hurts us because we need to focus on who we are now, today, I, I believe. So I actually brought some hats in that have a bit of a transition. I'm not, not trying to put you up there a spot a little bit. Uh, I made a hat uh, that says, Make America Great. Just that. But I would love to see. At the Super Bowl, Trump wearing the Make America Great hat, Colin making, wearing the Make America Great and showing that we can bend a bit on this side, we can bend a bit on this side, and we can learn how to be malleable in the infinite universe that we are and the loving beings that we are, that we don't have to stick to all traditions. And we are a side, we are one unit, we are one country, we are one moment in history and time. We might have been here before, but right now, we're here together, and the greatest value that people have are other people. And we need to stop working on red and blue. It's like a gang again. Let me ask you this question. You're in the Oval Office. Okay. How does it feel to be in the Oval Office? Oh, it is good energy in this. Is it good energy? Yeah. It's good energy. It's a great place. Jim, how do you feel? I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. I truly feel good. Yeah. I thank you, too. You're so respected. And what Kanye's doing has been incredible. All over the world, they're talking about this. And I have to tell you, I had important meetings today with senators and with everything. Nobody cared. They wanted this meeting. This is the meeting. Is that right? 